Love, woo, woo, woo. Yeah. That's beautiful. Love, what you doing? Giving Steve the sugar, giving that that cheek sugar right there. <laughs> We back at it again, you know, like I said, life lessons of Steve and Laura, you know, it's Steve and Laura time all the time. What's the life lesson here? Patience is a virtue, y'all. Getting that sweet stuff from Laura on the cheekity cheek. Does he get more later? We have to see. Let's go. Oh, it's not very often I get to say this, but uh, Steve's not here. <laughs> right. Well, actually, I'm here to see you. Oh? Mm. I realize that we've had our problems in the past, but I... You created all of them. We've had our problems. No, you should say, I've had my problems with you. Take accountability, Myra, but this is what you're going to see. She never does it. I was hoping that we could, well, pinky truce. <laughs> pinky truce? <laughs> so long oh, darkness, gosh. light in the light. <laughs> I won't... And I won't fight. That's good, Myra. That's what you need to do. Now, would you like to say it back to me? Not in this lifetime. Right. <laughs> this is why I love Laura. But not in this lifetime. Also, Laura, you don't need to. She's been coming for you. There's, there's nothing you need to release, huh? But please, come on in. Exactly. Hello, Edward. Hi, Myra. No, 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 wait. I need your advice, too. So what's the problem, Myra? Well... Stephen and I, unfortunately, he has always behaved like the perfect gentleman. Hmm. Unfortunately? I want to feel his luscious lips pressed hotly against mine. Oh. <laughs> DTM. Myra? Uh-huh. Yes? Have you been drinking? Right. <laughs> A very valid question. Because Myra coming over here with, with this, with this, first of all, the pinky, with the pinky thing. She's doing, what, what are we doing, Myra, right now? I, mean, hmm. I gotta sit down. Don't we all, Laura? You actually want Steve to kiss you? Hmm. Girl, I'm hurting for it. <laughs> well, I could see how kissing Steve and pain do go hand in hand. <laughs> the, first of all, Laura, we're going we're gonna to see. Laura's going to walk that, not walk it. Laura's going to run this back. <laughs> She's going to take all of this back. Laura making light out of these situations. If, if you guys, I'm, I'm told she's Chandler binging right now. Because this is just like what, because... Laura knows how much Myra is attracted to Steve. Why wouldn't she want to kiss him? So Laura's, again, she's Chandler binging right now. Oh, well, Myra, maybe you just need to turn him on a little bit. Yeah, what do you go on your dates with Steve? Hmm. The usual places, movies, restaurants, the Polka Hall of Fame. <laughs> okay, well, maybe that's your problem. Those are all public places. So? Well, Steve's an old-fashioned guy, and in some ways, he's an extremely shy person. Yeah, I mean, he won't even get undressed in front of his dog. <laughs> Isn't this interesting? Now Myra goes and makes nice nice with Laura because she want to get information. After all this stuff that Myra's been doing with Steve, she's still got to come talk to this woman on that man. When another woman has to go to another woman about her man, something ain't right. Why does Laura know these intimate things about Steve and Myra doesn't? Laura and Steve have not been intimate at all at this point. At all. Nothing. So how does Laura already know these intimate, but let y'all tell it. Myra and Steve are perfect for each other because they poker together. That don't bring a connection. The thing about it is Myra is not, just is not willing to take the time to actually get to know Steve. And she's on the fast track and you have to, you have to question why that is. He's probably nervous about showing affection in public. Mm. Laura knows this, but of not Myra. Of course, of course. I need to get my little flamingo legs alone. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I know exactly what to do now. <laughs> Even at this moment, Myra, Laura loves Steve more than Myra because Laura loves Steve in the greatest way, which is friendship. And what you will understand about people, when you really love them, what happens? You understand them. Myra is the one that is being more intimate with Steve, yet Laura knows him better. You figured, you, you make that make sense. How does Laura know these things like that? Love. I'll invite Stephen over for an intimate rendezvous and as sure as God makes little green apples, my lips will be doing push-ups against his. <laughs> that is one sick puppy. <laughs> you said it, Laura, you said it. <laughs> you look so. So what, Steve? Oh, I mean you. <laughs> 
What happened to your bazoon? Bazoon! Your bazoon! She be looking at the. Steve knows all facets of Laura's body. What's your combination? 34. 24. 35. 30. Hey, those are my measurements. <laughs> I know. All facets of her body. He does. He knows all her sizes, well, measurements. Smackdowns. If you're having some sort of identity crisis, well, let's talk about it. <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Men stomp like they're killing ants. <laughs> Bam. Bam. Hey. 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 They really do, though. They really do. Like, I got, like, this is for real. I got written up one time in my apartment because my dad came over. He walked in my kitchen with, like, his dress shoes on. And I got written up for that because it was too much noise. He literally was just walking, like, back and forth making a sandwich. And I got written up for that. So, yeah, Steve, you're right. They got a little stop to it. You got a little stop the yard to it. You know what I'm now, saying? come on. You try. Yeah. Try it, Lord. <laughs> a lot. You know, I always wondered, why do guys tug at their pants all the time? Mm, Lord, don't ask that, Lord. Well, how can I cut this delicately? <laughs> Put it delicately, Steve. Put it delicately. I do it to make sure the airline hasn't <laughs> lost the luggage. Things ain't getting lost. <laughs> Things ain't getting lost in translation. <laughs> Steve, what you needed to tell Laura here is you need to be a friend. She's too beautiful uh, to try to pull this off whatsoever. What's this right now you see between Steve and Laura? What would you classify this as? But here's the thing. This right now, Steve and Laura are bonding. They're bonding. They're connecting. They're, because they don't have to do much, right? They, they're just being in each other's presence. And Myra can go and do A, B, and C. Like I said, go polka, go romantic. She can make out with them in the car. Don't matter. Steve and Laura can literally just do this. And they're bonding, connecting, and growing, and making us laugh. Now let's see. I, when they're together and a pretty girl walks by, mm -hmm. they greet her with words of endearment like, Yo, mama, chicky chicky baby. Chicky chicky baby. See if you can pull that off, Laura. <laughs> see, see if you can Yo, pull it. Yo, baby, bring it on home. <laughs> Like she's supposed to be doing sports commentary. <laughs> Bring it on over. Oh, okay. Oh, God. <laughs> very good. Very good. Okay. Well, I'm ready to go buy my car now. Let's go get me some wheels, Irk Man. Irk Man. Man, everything they asked her to do, man. Everything they asked Kelly to do, she delivered on, man. Literally everything. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Why in heaven's galoshes would you want to change? Hmm. You're perfect just the way you are. No, oh, thanks, Myra. I like me too. This sounds real sweet from from Myra, right? And would you ever want to change? We all guys, everybody needs to change. If you don't want to change, you don't want to be your best self. If you don't want to change, you don't want to become better. If you don't think about it, changing even your perspective on the job you do can bring you a raise. And if you're really going forward in life, change, you can't avoid it. It's a part of life. So that's what I said. On one, in one area, I get what she's saying. Like, man, just be you. You know what I'm saying? Be who you are. But on another side, this is what, again, another thing that kind of holds back Steve and Myra's relationship. I'm trying to understand. Mm. You're a terrific lady. But I'm always on Laura. Right. Now, Laura and I were meant to be together. Like we're a team, a duo, a pair, a match, a twosome, an item. I see. Myra. Myra, I've never misled you. Right. I've always loved Laura. And I warned you that this might happen someday. And this is this is why I have so much respect for Steve. Because he has. He has been completely upfront with Myra from the very beginning. From the very, very beginning. So you can't, you can't fault him on this. But check out this here, what Myra says. But I was hoping that I could change your mind or that Laura would die. <laughs> Myra, we have lots of happy memories. And we'll always have this wonderful night to remember. What did Myra just say? Remember I said 
Then Steve is like a toy to her, right? This, my news is deeply upsetting, so you must be strong. <laughs> I'll try. Well, you remember Myra, Ted's cousin? Yes, indeedy. Yeah. She wants my bod. <laughs> Laura, I've explained to Stephen that I'm more than willing to be his love toy. <laughs> Myra has her own Urkel doll with Steve. And she, what did I say? She wants to reprogram how he thinks, feels, acts, does everything. What did she just say right here? I thought that I could change your mind. I want everything out of the open. Right. So here's fair warning. He's always been open. I intend to remain friends with Laura. Yeah, that's my homie. And if she gives me the slightest inkling that I can win her heart, I'm gone, baby. I'm going to make her wife. <laughs> she wifing. I understand. I accept those terms. Mm. There, right? Steve told Myra, boom, this is what it is. If Myra would have said this then, like, I'm going to change your mind, then that would be okay. He said what he said. She said what she said. Boom. But Myra had this in the back of her mind that she was going to try to manipulate control to change Steve's mind. Remember when I said, why is Myra such on such a fast track with Steve that, I, you know, she has a, you know, she's trying to force everything because she's trying to change him. She's not trying to love him. She's trying to change. I can't help what happened. Steve is still in high school. I'm in college now. I'm into a whole new social thing. Steve wanted to tag along and I had to cut the cord. Mm. Look, Eddie, I know Steve is irritating, but he has feelings just like anybody else. He's been a good friend to all of us, especially you, Eddie. The Lord says this here because we're going to go back and look at maybe where this come from. I'm a person mm. and I have feelings and I demand to be treated with respect and dignity. You're right. You're absolutely right. I'm the one who messed up, but I've been taking it out on you. Hmm. You were a friend every step of the way, and all I did was complain. I'm really sorry, Steve. Will you forgive me? Well, okay. <laughs> I love that Laura is reminding Eddie, you know, that Steve is valuable, and he's been a great friend. That is so powerful what Laura said there, and she's saying this to her older brother. He's been a great friend to all of us. It's, it's powerful. N let me say this. I always find this interesting that no one ever talks about all you ever, all, all people ever want to do is hate on Laura. Laura da, 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 and Laura da, 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 with Steve. No one ever talks about how many times Eddie tried to cancel Steve and Laura didn't uh, allow it. Why is it that y'all only always come for Laura? I know why. It's because you actually admire her. It's because you actually really know she dope. That's why you do it. But Laura. He it's... idolizes you. Like, you remember the time you broke your tennis racket, then you gave it to Steve? Yeah. He bronzed that broken tennis racket, Eddie. And he keeps it in his family safe deposit box. <laughs> That's crazy. Wow. Mm -hmm. He acted like you had given him gold. Mm. Wow, for me? Thanks, <laughs> Edo. You're the bossest <laughs> butter guy I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why didn't they let her do that more? I, I think I know why, though. Because you want to you wanna keep the star the star. You want certain people to shine more than others. But it would have been super dope if they would have let her do that more. Look, look, I'm trying. I'm just trying to say she's dope as Urkel too. <sighs> Kelly, could, Kelly could do it all. She could do it all. He has everything you've ever given him. Do you really want to write him off as a friend? Mm. The one person in this whole world that thinks that much of you. Mm. Deep. Some lore nuggets right there, boy. <laughs> Stuff the Lord does not get credit for. Laura never gets props on this. Uh, okay. Awesome by her. And the haircut. I'm loving the little haircut she got going. And this has nothing to do with the storyline, but it was so hilarious because I never noticed these things. Must apologize for the jello down your cross. <laughs> oh. Oh, hold on, guys. No, hold on. I never noticed how much the, the background guys sell the sell this you if you watch the background guys you can tell who won this food fight you it's hilarious watch their interactions to the stuff that laura does oh. look at them look at these guys over there look look at them <laughs> they're letting you know who's winning right now man 
ladies, ladies, this misuse of food is reprehensible. Look at them even back here. You see them like talking right there? This is letting you know who's winning. Oh. Otherwise, then find it strangely exhilarating. Yeah, of course you would, Steve. Two beautiful women fighting over you. Who's mad at that? Gee, Laura, all this apologizing has probably made you very thirsty. Watch the guys in the background. How about a nice cold milkshake on me? Look at this face. <laughs> or better yet, on you. Kelly has some beautiful skin, man. Makeup or not, she has some beautiful skin. See, leave it be. Oh, Myra. Watch the guys in the background. You look like you're ready for dessert. Check it out. Check out these guys in the background. Oh, a nice piece of cherry pie. Watch this. Mm. Oh. Bow. So look at the dude. <laughs> she got the cherry pie on the dude. Look, he's looking. But well, watch that. Watch this though. I never look at dude in the back over here to the right. I don't know. It's to your left. I don't know. But the background guys, man, this was brilliant to have this in the background. They're 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 letting you know who's winning this food fight. Check it out. Alamo. Alamo. Bow. Look at look at look at their faces. <laughs> look at their look at their faces, man. This dude right here. I don't know who he is, but just check him out. Look at him. Look at him. Look at the guy in the blue. He's giving them giving the Arsenio Hall. Look. <laughs> you know who won this right here. <laughs> now that was over the line. Oh, now wait, please. Man, let me tell you the thing that really bothers me about this whole thing, you know. Um, the life lessons of Stephen Lord is just some of the asinine things that people say, you know, and one of those is not recognizing, oh, well, Myra loves Steve first and Myra loves Steve more. And let me say it again. Myra will never catch up to what Stephen Lord already have. She will never catch up because what Stephen Lord are doing is building a friendship just by doing life. Right. It's like this friendship is being built. And, you know, and the one thing that you look at, and you'll see, man, Myra's not trying to build that with Steve. Myra trying to get Steve in the sheets, you know what I'm saying? It's usually the opposite, you know, it usually go the opposite way. But that's what Myra's trying to do because Myra has an agenda. Myra's not trying to build with Steve. She's not trying to build a friendship with Steve. Myra should not have to go and go all the way. It's different if, think about it. If, if Laura and Myra were, say they were in class or they were somewhere and she's like, hey, Laura, you know what? I was having some issues with Steve. Uh, I wonder if you can help me out with this. But Myra actually took her sweet, precious time. To go to Laura's house, sit down with Laura and Eddie and talk about this. And it's because she's unwilling to do the work. This is why y'all, this is why y'all float with Myra though. Because we're so impatient now. We don't want to build nothing. Now it's the big thing. Oh, viral, viral, viral. But what we don't realize about these things that we want so quickly is they most of the time they don't have a foundation. We're so impatient now and comfort, comfort all the time, right? I told you Ma Ma Myra is comfort food for Steve. You know, but, you know, all it's doing is giving him a, a, a emotional gut, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's not filling his soul. And this is what we what you know, I think the, the oh my gosh, it's such the, it's such a beautiful thing with Stephen Lord because the life lessons of Stephen Lord, one of the biggest ones is friendship. We just want to share what, what we think love is. I think it's friendship. I think it is safety. I think love is listening. Love, of course, is patient. Scripture says love is us. You know, and, and we're going, we're falling further and further away from just even friendship, but we want relationship though. So that's what Myra wants. Myra wants relationship without friendship. You know what I'm saying? And that's why it would always be a problem because Laura's always going to love Steve more because she loves him in the greatest way. To recognize about Steve and Laura is like they've been building. You know what I'm saying? They, they have gone through the ups and the downs and the all arounds and understand. See, people don't think that nowadays. People don't, people think it's hard, man. She got mad. He got mad. It's not working. Right. You know, we think because it's hard that it's not right. You know what I'm saying? And we have to renew our mind to understand. And especially from our believers, when you go and read the Bible, most assignments God gave to people, it was hard. It was out of their comfort zone. They had to wait. They had to go do something they weren't used to doing. You got uh, uh, Noah. Noah had to learn how to, uh, to make a boat. He didn't know. There was no prototype. There was no blueprint. You know what I'm saying? This is, this is what God does. And this is how you can see that what Stephen and Laura have is a God thing because it is happening organically, you know, and it's in, and it's, 
building, even though Steve is not getting, well, actually, Steve getting a little smoochy smooch right now. He is getting a smoochy smooch because they're not romantic right now. People can't see the growth in Steve and Laura. And that's why it's so beautiful because Steve and Laura are still growing, you know, individually and they're growing together. And Myra wants everything to be on the fast track. I don't want to do all that. I, I just want to do this. I want you to kiss on me. I want you to do, I want you to do all that. I, you know what I'm saying? And she doesn't want to build with Steve. She doesn't want to understand And these are the Steve. things that, you know, people, they, you, they just won't talk about. You won't, they won't talk about this. You know, what I'm, you know what I'm saying? It's all about the romance. It's all about the romance. You know, you, you see uh, things all the time. You got books or, you know, articles. You know, five ways to have a successful marriage. Five ways. And none of them are friendship none of them are friendship. And it's because we have believed this lie that we could have a relationship with somebody in marriage without the friendship. And the friendship is so necessary. That's why the, what, the marriages are failing, you know, because they're married to that. They're, they're married, but they're not friends. They're romantic, but they're not friends. You know what I'm saying? They pay bills together, but they're not friends. You know what I'm saying? They're raising kids together, but they're not friends. I try to show people about Stephen Laura that it's so beautiful. It's this beautiful friendship. It's just organically happening, you know, to where now Laura knows him like nobody else. And she ain't even been with him like that. It's just such a beautiful thing if we would just take our time. And that Laura never gets props on. I'm going to say it again because y'all, some of y'all foolishness, this, this asinineness just gets on my nerves. No one ever gives props to Laura. You know the, the, the greatest way? And how you can see that Laura, how much she does care about Steve. See, y'all think it's, a, you know, because it's, it's snuggles and, and cuddles. And, you know, she kissed him on the cheek right now. But it's snuggles and cuddles and all that. But you know one of the greatest ways that Laura shows that she loves Steve besides just the friendship? Is she protects him from her. You get, you know what I'm saying? She understands that I can't love you that way right now. I don't know if I'll ever be able to love you right now, love you that way right now. So I'm going to protect you from me. I'm not going to play with your heart. I'm not going to play with your mind. I'm going to be a friend. I'll sit down and talk to your girlfriend. I'll be, I'll take, think about it. I'll let your girlfriend throw food in my face. I'll let your girlfriend insult me. I will be a friend to you because I don't know if I'm for you. And that's where, it, that's where you got to understand where it is with Laura. I don't think Laura sees that she's the one for Steve yet. And because God has not opened up her eyes yet, because it is not time, you know, but what Steve doesn't realize what's working for him right now is something greater than he ever imagined. And again, like I said before, that is a lot of times what God does. We really think God giving us a bad, a bad hand. And God's like, no, 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 no. If you just, if you just roll with me, I'm actually setting you up for something even greater. Lifelong friendship is being built between Steve and Laura, you know, and it's just such a beautiful thing. But yeah, man, love God, love people. May God bless you. May God keep you. It's the